I've been fortunate enough to have been awarded a Fulbright Futures Scholarship by Fulbright Australia, which is essentially a scholarship that opens up research collaborations between the United States and Australia. We're really passionate about enhancing the drug testing pipeline. What we'll often see is a drug acts really promisingly in 2D cell culture tests and in animal trials, but then once it reaches human trials, we see unpredicted results or even worse, unexpected results on clinical trial patients. We can attack this problem with better, more predictive models that accurately mimic the environment that cells usually grow in. That is, we can use microfluidics to generate organs on a chip that act very similarly to tissues in the body due to physical cues, biological additives and the environment that they're grown in. I'll be travelling to the University of Washington in Seattle to work with leading microfluidics researchers with their novel open microfluidic devices. Part of my project could involve generating miniature hearts to study heart attacks or even mini tumours for anti-cancer therapies. I'm very excited to work with Fullbright Australia to visit the US as I know it will open very exciting collaborations between my home laboratory and laboratories overseas. Yeah, I'm actually really excited to travel to Seattle. It looks like a really interesting place to be. I mean, you've got the mountains on one side and the ocean straight on the other and there's lots of access to nature. So yeah, I'm really excited to explore the city and surrounds. So it's definitely going to be a challenge moving abroad for six months, but I'm really excited to take it on. Um, the most important thing I probably need to pack is some warm clothes. I know Seattle can get quite chilly, especially earlier in the year. So it'll be quite exciting to kind of experience that weather. It's quite different from where we are now. Yeah, I think I'll definitely miss my family and friends here. I've got a really lovely network. It's very supportive, but um, yeah, I'll probably miss my dog, Reggie. Oh, I think that would be a real change, not having her around, but she'll be in very good hands while I'm away. Thank you.